Kirchberg. Since the second half of the 20th century, this plateau to the northeast of the center of the capital has developed into a significant prestigious district. In 1961, the Kirchberg Fund was set up. Two years later, the building of the Red Bridge connected the district to the city center, the Ville Hood. As the infrastructure was developed, European Union institutions and banks moved into the district. In the early 1990s, the area had to be restructured to achieve an appropriate urban density. In the course of addressing this challenge, the whole energy concept for Kirchberg was also rethought. In 1997, a European invitation to tender for the construction and operation of a power plant in Kirchberg was launched. The winner was Lux Energy a company known since its foundation in 1990 for its strengths in the area of heating and cooling. The Kirchberg power plant, with its impressive chimneys, is now a feature of the district skyline. Since it started its operation, the plant has been supplying the heating network of Luxembourg City from natural gas cogeneration insulations, supported by condensing boilers. The cogeneration insulations, which produce not only heat but also electrical power, inject the current that is generated into the public electricity grid. In 2016, due to the growth of the Kirchberg district and the general increase in the demand for heat, Lux Energy started the latest extension of the plant with an efficient environmentally friendly insulation. Since the commissioning of this extension phase, the majority of the heat is produced with biomass, specifically with wood pellets. The pellets are burned in a cogeneration insulation, and the produced heat supplies the base load to the district heating network of Kirchberg. During consumption peaks, the existing natural gas cogeneration engines and condensation boilers generate the additional energy needed. The complexity of carrying out such a huge transformation while keeping the existing production insulations in service should not be underestimated. Due to a lack of space in the existing premises, the silo for the new insulation was built on an area next to the office block. As a result, the urban planning of the adjacent areas had to be completely reviewed and precisely coordinated with the Koch Arena and Lux Tram. So, how does this new insulation work? The new silo allows to store up to 500 tons of pellets, which corresponds to one week supply. The pellets are produced from local wood by a company Kiowatt in Rust and delivered three or four times a day on working days. A bucket conveyor carries the pellets to the upper part of the new insulation and from there they are transported by conveyor for a uniform distribution throughout the silo. The pellets then fall through controlled openings in the floor onto another conveyor which carries them to the boiler. A precise dosing system allows optimization of the output from the combustion process at all times. The boiler burns 2.8 tons of pellets per hour. The generated heat converts the water into steam at a temperature of 485 degrees Celsius. A turbine downstream from the boiler uses this steam to generate electrical energy. This process makes it possible to generate up to 22,400 megawatt hours of green electricity per year, supplying the public electricity grid. The residual heat from the turbine is used to produce a thermal baseload of 9.5 megawatts, which provides the Kirchberg district heating network. This insulation allows the production of up to 76,000 megawatt hours of green heat per year. The exhaust gases pass through a high quality filtering system. Continuous monitoring and analysis ensures purification of the gases and removal of all residues. The ash and residues are fully recovered and stored pending recovery and recycling by a specialist company. The extension of the power station makes it possible 
to save 8.2 million cubic meters of gas per year, which simultaneously means a reduction of 22,000 tons of CO2 per year. The production of green heat is 12,000 megawatt hours per year higher than the production of heat from fossil fuels, so that more than 50% of the heat supplied to Kirchberg comes from renewable energy sources. This means that the district heating network has been converted into a green network. With the transformation of the power station, Lux Energy has demonstrated the benefits of a district heating network. In a single move, the entire Kirchberg district has made the transition to green energy. All the buildings connected now have a better energy balance as well. Lux Energy is therefore delivering sustainable energy to a whole district and its inhabitants, while making its own contribution towards protecting our climate. Lux Energy, the responsible energy provider.